we're all right, yeah. hang on. We're doing a measure today uh, to see where my diet's going. Oh, I had some other topics for conversation as well today. Mm -hmm. So as Liz started watching some of my content, like... Um, Your content? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And she was like... It was when I was talking about like how how I gave up Netflix. Actually, I'll wait because I want to get a better better shot. Mm -hmm. But essentially, the topic that we'll talk about is like the support system that you have, mm. like partners, yeah. family, yeah, yeah, that yeah. kind of thing, um, and how significant that is. But we'll wait until we have some better shots. I booked my, um, I pretty much booked all of my Thailand trip now. Thailand? Yeah. So I'm going to Thailand in May. What for? Work or? Just to go. Oh, yeah. Holiday. So it was the one that I was going to do before, yeah. So I was going over for like a free diving course at the start. Yeah. And then I decided the last week I'm there, I'm going to Phuket to go to Unit 27, which is like a CrossFit conditioning gym. Oh, yeah. And I've booked, it cost me just under 1200 bucks for six days worth of training, six yeah. days worth of meals oh, okay. and accommodation with poolside access. So I was like... Why not? Yeah, I'll head over and then that last week, just like train fucking hard. Mm. So I lost 0.2% body fat in about five minutes. <laughs> I'm amazing. My metabolism is so it's high. It's just ridiculous. How did that go results wise? Um, yeah, so you've lost a bit of weight, but you're a little bit under hydrated today. So that's where I am predicting. The weight's come from. Um, you've increased Oh, you've decreased 500 grams of muscle mass, mm. but I am predicting it, that it's from that, right? Rather than actually decreasing the muscle mass, um, but you're looking really good, so I don't care. Now let's do this. Are oh, you going to do that too? Yeah. Yeah, your midsections come in heaps. Yeah. All right. I've got to make a new plan. Ten template for um, for my before and afters is if I'm going to change to um, mm. oh is that the name that you're going to call it? I think so yeah. yeah that's cool so that would just be like an umbrella for all the all the little things that I do but mm. that's the I guess the, the company name or yeah I think it ties in well because performance isn't just physical performance but mm. mental performance. Mm. 1.5 in the lumbar. Mm. Nice. Good, good, good. So yeah, 20, 29 days left is well right. So we're at um, 56 mils. We've lost four mils over the last um, from the last time we've done it, but it's like a week. Yeah, but visually you're looking better, a lot yeah. better. And that's pale as a ghost as well. So we had a bit of tan. Fucking Liz was giving me so much shit last night. About being white? Yeah, about being white. <laughs> she's, she's white, yeah? Well, nah, so she's got like some Turkish blood in her. So she's a bit dark. more olive. Yeah. Um, like she's white, but then she's just tanned all her life yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. So she's like darker than I am. <laughs> I think that's for me too. So you're right, Alex. Yeah, I'm yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, you can go get that. I'm fine. Is this our first working set? Yeah. Are you looking for fives? Uh, what am I? Hey, no, wanna... I'm trying to do math. Is which is failing. So? So what am I at? I'm at, I'm at 100. So 25, 15, that's a hundy. I got two fives here, which will make it 110. Yeah. And two point fives. Uh, so two of those, two of those little black ones is 2.5. I should have some more out here. No, that's what I need. It's humid today in here. It is. Yeah, and when I head to Thailand as well, I've booked... I'm going to be in Bangkok for a little bit, 
and I've booked a hotel that has like a fitness first as well. So I can train the whole time that I'm over there. How long are you actually going for? I'll be there for like three and a half weeks. Oh, so nice. the first like half a week I'm doing a free diving course though. Right. So I'll be on like an island and not training. All right, so we only want eight, okay? Yep. Okay. Keep your knees, hips open, hips open, good. Drive it up. Okay, good. Right. Yeah, so it's funny, Liz. I also need to be more mindful of when I talk. I say like too much. Mm. I was editing out so many likes. The, the filler words, yeah. Yeah. Saying my arms and ours, I think, are getting better. And the, I think the shorts thing that I use edits it out anyway. It does. Yeah, it detects arms and ours and we'll edit them out. Or oh. like pauses between words but because like is a normal word you would use it doesn't filter those out <laughs> and I've just really noticed it so I was like need to try and be mindful yeah I've been trying to work on that for myself as well it's to, yeah. all those filler words and just getting comfortable with pauses yeah because I feel when I do it is I'm trying to fill that space yeah mm. yeah I'm also trying to be more purposeful in what I say so think about what I want to convey mm -hmm. and then say the sentence rather than trying to like start talking, think about yeah, yeah, how, yeah. what I'm saying on the fly, which just doesn't yeah. work. Oh, I went to, you know, I told you I was going to do Toastmasters. Oh yeah, did yeah. you go? Yeah, I went on Wednesday night. How did I, it go? It was actually really good. I really enjoyed it. <sighs> One, good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Last one. Okay, good. So what's that? Thirty? And then 15 is 45, 45, that's 90, that's 110, that's 120, that's 125. Is that 125? That's 125. I'm blaming you. <laughs> I said I couldn't do math. And then you you're want, like... Do you want to stay there? <laughs> oh, we might as well. I was thinking, that's not 115. Don't tell me this, because now I'm going to do the next set, I'm going to be like, this is heavy as fuck. 125, we got it. Yeah, so let, let me do that again. So, 15 so and 5. Is, 15 this and is five. 70. With that on it. 25s, 20 70. kilo bar, yep. 70. And then another 40. It's one, yep. is what, 110? 110. Oh, no. It is 115, right? Hang yeah. On. So, 25, 25 is 50. That's 70. 70. 100 with the 15s. 100, oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. 110. It is 110. Yeah, it is okay. 110. Jeez, I needed a calculator. That's a short just called train, <laughs> train Desi do math. <laughs> Quick maths. Quick math. <laughs> I'll play that music over the top. One, good. Two. Three. Four. But yeah, the thing, Liz was watching through some of my content, mm -hmm. like some of the shorts. 
And the one she picked up was the, where I like cut away Netflix, was working two jobs and that kind of thing. And uh, she was asking, do we talk about the kind of slack that your partner will pick up in the domestic duties and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And also just the level of support you get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which I think we have talked about, there's a few shorts, but I was like, that in itself is a topic to just discuss. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, during that time, listed heaps of stuff and then was like busy with her own work and <coughs> would like walk the dogs and the house was a mess because mm. it's just like both of us were so busy. Yeah, but for me, I feel like the support, it's not just the biggest thing for, for me and Jay, so our partner, my partner, is this comes as a co comes at a cost to the relationship and that's just not you always... You get in this because it'll pick you up in yeah. the shorts. But yeah, so... Start again and then talk away. Yeah, so for, for Jade and I's relationship, I feel like doing this, it, it comes at a, at a cost, but not so much with like physical things, but emotionally or t um, time, because w w when you're building a business or whatnot, as yeah. you know, it requires a lot of time. And then sometimes when you finish in here or finish doing what you're doing, you're spent. Yeah. And, and and I feel like that's the biggest cost and the the support that the partner gives you during those times or the understanding they give you is, it, it, I guess for the way I, can, I say it is a, a partner that's supportive and compliments what you're trying to do mm. is is worth way more than any business course or advice or whatever because mm. if you don't have that, you can have the best strategy, you can have the best everything, but mm. if you're peace of mind isn't there or your home life shit, mm. no strategy is going to be good, I feel. Mm. And that's where I feel, like, like what you were saying before, having that supportive partner and picking up the slack, not so much just in housework or physical stuff, but just in the understanding that this is very taxing. Yeah, you know? yeah. I agree with that. I think it's not having that stress in the back of your mind yes. that you're worried about your partner mm -hmm. in that they are supportive, they understand how much work it takes. Mm -hmm. And that you're trying something that neither of you have tried before. No, yeah. So, and maybe that, that would be interesting to talk to someone who maybe is potentially trying to start a business, but their partner has started one before, mm -hmm. and whether the support is different or mm. like the understanding is different, because I guess there's just like a lot of leeway in trying to do things, because List doesn't know how much effort it takes either. Yeah, well, and that's hard. I guess nobody does, and it's more of a, a communication piece as well. Mm. Where I feel like, like a lot of guys, and this is a bit of a generalization, when we start something, we just assume that our partners know what is involved or what we're doing, and yeah. we don't communicate. But then, without the communication, sometimes resentment can grow. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, last one, Hup. eight, beautiful, and that, that's why I hate this new culture of I did this all by myself, I did this, I myself made this, that and the other, but fuck off, you know, yeah. like if you don't have the support of people, like even if you're creating something that is all on you, you still need the support of people who have weak strengths where your weaknesses are. Yeah. That's what I hate so much is like this whole culture of, I don't know if it's us against them or there's this whole division where everybody wants to do things on by themselves and I don't know, I think it just, it's creating a very toxic environment and mindset for people thinking, oh, I can do this all by myself yeah. kind of thing. I think I've seen less of it, but maybe that's just because the algorithms of the content that I watch yeah. will bring up more people who are like that. Mm. But even if they did theoretically do it by themselves, like I said like again, <laughs> they wouldn't have done it without tools. 
no. or processes mm. that other people have built. So it might not be a direct support, mm. but who doesn't build things without like, Fuck, I said it again. <laughs> so hard to cut that habit. But like Asana, Asana or like the AI shorts generation mm. tool that I use, that kind of thing. But then you still need somebody to help you show you how to use that tool. Yeah, well you can self-teach you, but again, yeah, like you can- YouTube or- <laughs> Watch YouTube, like the websites. I said it again. Man, I need to start paying like a dollar every time I say like, <laughs> what's next? That's four sets. We've done four? Yeah. Stiff leg deadlifts. That's right. Let's move that back in so we don't, um, just in here so it doesn't fall on you. It would have been fine. Hey? It would have been fine. Yeah. Um. Chalk? Straps. Straps. Yeah, I keep forgetting to bring my yep. Ollie ones. Because they're just sitting in my gym at home. No, I think that's a really good topic. Because nobody really talks about, well, again, it's probably the algorithm, but there's no real talk about partners or the support that you get. What did I do last week on this? 30. Oh, no, 32.5 for 12. I want to drop, so if we can go possibly 35 for eight, yep. four sets of eight again. I would save it and just go maybe another lightish, maybe go to 30 yeah. or 27.5 or something. Yeah, let's go 30. Watch your back, so deadlift it up. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Yeah, and communication, man. I just feel communication is massive in any relationship. Yeah. I thought it was just a good topic. I'm, take it back. I'm trying to like get more where I'm in the camera. Like. <laughs> Like in the camera? Like in the camera. <laughs> Did I say like just then? Fuck. I should just cut a video where it's just me saying like for hours. <laughs> it's like, you know, you get those 12 hour music loops. Just, just be saying 12 like. 12 hours of me saying like, but they're all original. Does Someone that, does that to one it. feel different to you? Huh? Did that one feel different to you? That one? Yeah. No, why? Are you sure? Yeah, why? Is that, are they two different ones or are they the oh, same? Are they? <laughs> they might be. Yeah, so that, that last one you picked up was 37. That's 35 there. So we're just going on 37s? No. You don't want to go 37s? Well, you reckon you can? Yeah. Yeah, all right, we'll go 37. One's down, I don't want to pick it up right now. <laughs> it's too heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's too heavy. I'll just work out with it and then I'll leave it on the floor. 37.5. <laughs> Yeah, I think the partner support is not talked about much, especially with partners that aren't in the field. Mm. So you see a lot of like Alex Ozomi and he'll talk about his partner, but they literally mm. run the business together. Um, Trying to think of some other examples, but a lot of like the big names, I can't think of them talking about their wives mm. or their partners or or even their kids to a certain extent, like, I said like again. Even to their kids to a certain extent around the understanding mm. that the kids have at different age groups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I guess when they're really young, they're not gonna understand. So you just need to show up. But you'll get to a point where they're 12, 13, they start to understand the value of money, the value mm. of time. And then you can sit down and have a conversation with your kids then and be like. Yeah. It's nice, because even with, well, well the, the, our boys yeah. is I'm starting to notice it's not so much the things I do or say, but my behaviours that they pick up on. Yeah, and, okay. and, and how that's relevant to what we're talking about here is they're starting to notice the work that goes into the business. They're starting to notice 
you know, the lifestyle that I have is pretty cool, but that does come with a cost too. And that's a, a lot of work. When you're working, you're working, working hard. You're working hard. Yeah. But then when you're off, you're also off. So yeah. off, off, off the topic of kids is that it's not talked about enough, but then on the flip side, it's not really the support, but it's, all, it's the influence that you were, you're giving your kids by doing the hard stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah. And that comes down to communication as well, right? Yeah, definitely. So you have that clear, open communication with your partners, or we try to, and that doesn't always work. <laughs> But we do try. That, that's a topic. That's another. Day that's another chat. topic in itself. Yeah. I think that's about a whole week's worth. That's, <laughs> that's a course that we can develop about <laughs> men communicating with their partners. I think. Uh, it should, could be a university degree. Yeah. One. But with your kids, it's like a different level, right? Mm. Like you need to. It's the same as teaching people. You need to put it in a way that they're going to understand. Yeah. And kids are just at a different communication level than adults. <sighs> so I learned that really early on in the coaching oh. world. Is, to coach from your your client's level of understanding, not yours. Yeah. So snap it up. Good. Glitch. Good. Five. Six. Seven. Last one. Hey, good. All good? Yep. Yeah, just super mindful of this weight of engaging the quads and the hamstrings and the glutes. And keep the back start. nice yeah, and neutral. Yeah, keep the back there. Mm. So even if we don't get as, as full of a range of motion, just go to the point where you can feel that stretch in, that, yeah. um, in your hammies and your glutes. Yeah. Well, it's just making sure that I'm not letting that engagement slip because mm -hmm. that'll go straight into my back yeah. but yeah I, know, I love i really love that topic of i guess partners and kids and stuff because like just from what i see i just don't think it's talked about enough or that that's the reality of building something well yeah the two things that i've seen is obviously less bringing it up being like do you talk about partners more and the support that they give and the understanding and then that interview, not with Jay Hachetti, the other dude, mm. that he did with Kobe Bryant. Yeah. And Kobe talked about his kids mm -hmm. and his wife and how his wife was on board. And she said, if you're going away to do all this work, playing all this basketball, being out of the house for 12 hours a day, you better fucking win a championship. <laughs> and that's it. It's like they understand the level of commitment that needs to go into these things, but they expect a return. Mm. And the return is you succeeding. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Mm. Yeah. Which I, like, you feel so loved mm. with that, that there's, because there's no guarantee of return, and they'll still be happy if you don't, mm. like if you fail. But if you do succeed, then it's, you owe quite a lot to, to that success mm. that you had to your partner. Because it's all about that environment and peace of mind. Yeah. I'm a massive believer in, if your environment isn't conducive, conducive to success uh -huh. and you don't have that peace of mind, uh -huh. success will be very difficult because you've got like this internal battle. Oh, I've got boob sweat. <laughs> All right, so deep, deep breath in. There, up, there. One. Two. Alright, so from there, glutes, 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 good. Five, good. Six, seven. That's what. Eight, beautiful. I think I watched the. Like this, you know that Vin guy I was talking about, Vin Gang? Yeah, yeah. He done a really good short about this topic. I'll see if I can find it. About partners? Yeah. Mm. I really yeah. want to do his course, but... I decided to do something you 
love that I don't think people talk about a lot. We look at entrepreneurs who work 16 hours a day and we praise them because we go, wow, look at that person. They're doing what they love. They're doing what they're passionate about. But I, I really think behind every entrepreneur is a partner that is sacrificing a lot for that entrepreneur to be doing what they're doing, especially if you have kids. And that person in my family is my wife. I moved to the US back in 2016, 2017, and my son was two and a half months old. And I said to my wife, do you want to take a risk and go to America? She's, well, first of all, she's like, yeah, hell yeah, let's do it. I was away 200 days a year. She was basically like a single mom. And it pains me, man, because I didn't realize that with more success actually requires more sacrifice. Yeah. And then I want more success. Well, guess what? More sacrifice. I didn't know that. Because on social media, it looks like, oh, you just, more hmm. success is free. You just work hard and you get more success. I didn't see the other side of it. So because I love what I did so much, every time I was working, everyone around me was praising me. And because my wife was so supportive, she was praising me too. But she was actually suffering and hurting inside. She's such a strong woman that she doesn't like to bring it up. Mm. But then now, as we're growing in our marriage, now she opens up and she shares with me. Hmm. She goes, you know, those years. So that's pretty. Like, yeah. I watched another one of his videos where he was talking about like he's hit the height mm. of his going on a speaker circuit because yeah. he was getting paid Big pretty dollars. much millions yeah, to yeah. do it. And he created all these courses and then he said, that's it, I'm out. I'm not doing it anymore. Like I've got my courses. He's walking away like probably a huge pay cut. Not that he wouldn't need it because he would be earning yeah. enough from courses and stuff now. So he's no more talking, no more speaking. Yeah, he'll probably do like one-off keynote stuff. Yeah. But the circuit that people like him do, he dropped out of it. Right. And it's probably because of that. Mm. Because he said everyone around him was praising him and saying, you've reached the pinnacle, why are you quitting now? You've got so much ahead of you. Mm. And he's just like, it's a different thing that's ahead of me. Mm. And it's my family. And he's now created a comfortable life for him and his mm. wife and his kids because mm. it looked like he had two kids there. Yeah, two. And yeah, like that's what he's going to do now. He's going to focus mm. on raising yeah, his good kids. On him. So yeah, I I like him as a kind of just sharing that life experience of mm. how much success there is and saying that as well. And, but also the sacrifice, you know. Yeah, the sacrifice and also understanding that even though his wife was super supportive, like realising that, and totally. being able to communicate and open up. And that's super important for, I guess, not just men, but also, and not, not trying to gender, gender stereotype, but anyone who is a supportive partner, like mm. being able to communicate. And I think being able to articulate a light at the end of the tunnel. Mm. The, the communication, it's yeah. just, and then I think it's really important to articulate why you're doing it. Yes. Because otherwise the resentment does grow. Because, mm. oh, is he just doing this for himself? Or oh, are they, let's just take gender out of it and we're just saying yeah, people they, who yeah. are entrepreneurs or people who have, have a goal to achieve. Yeah. Resentment can grow in the partner if the partner doesn't know the why. I'll, I'll talk about yeah. this next point in a sec. Or if the, if the why is a, what's the word? Not a selfish one. To, Four, five, eight, good. Lower back, all right? Yep. Yep. So that was our eighth. Mm, fourth, sorry. Um, okay, so we're over here. What we're going to do today is we're not going to do four straight sets of 12, but I want to do um, clusters. So we'll go four, 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 a total of six rounds. But on the fourth, on the sixth uh, set... Do we normally do clusters? No. Or is that a different That's a different program. Different program. So we'll go four, four, uh, four by six. Yep. Oh, six by four, sorry. And on the six set, we'll go as many as we can. Sure. I know, and I think it's very important to not only have individual goals, but to have goals as a partner. Partner goals. Yes. Yeah. So, what I wanted to add into the whole understanding the reason why, and this is a bit 
gendered behavioral science kind of thing mm-hmm. is that the process that men and women have to understanding the reasons behind things mm-hmm. or even understanding things in general is slightly different mm-hmm. and that's generalization just between the genders mm-hmm. so what would be interesting is if we were having this conversation about the motivation mm-hmm. with a woman as well mm-hmm. and understanding like do they need to under, understand yeah. the why at all or do they just need to see progress or mm. happiness from their partner yeah. doing it because I think I don't I wouldn't need to understand the why if someone was so passionate about something I would just be like okay cool yeah mm. and if there was progress but if they stalled then I would want communication like are you passionate about this or yeah why why are we doing it mm. then because I just, initial I don't think yeah. I would need I think it's that long term where if you're spending a lot of time away from your partner, family and whatnot, if it is a selfish one, then I feel like that's when the resentment could grow because it's taking away from the quality time. Whereas if you, let's just say an entrepreneur building a business, et cetera, et cetera, but it's to, if it's to get their family into a better position, yeah. whatever it may be, then, then there's a, that's a bigger why than if, oh, I just want to be the next fucking yeah. whatnot. It's also, you let's see go, go. entrepreneurs will fail and then their partner stick around. So it's how many iterations of that mm. do, do you accept? Yeah. And I think that needs clear communication as well. Because you're not potentially fucking up your own life, you're fucking mm. up your partner's. Because not everything succeeds. And on the same, on the other coin of um, support is, I want a partner to tell me that I'm being a fuckwit, if I'm being a fuckwit, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah, I get that. In the Are construct- we going up at all or just no, that? Just, oh no, that's a warm up. I'll go up to 180. Yeah. Um, sorry, mate. Yeah, and I think it's also. Especially if you're talking about starting your own business. Or Actually, being... um, we may just need to do one set of 12 because I've got to go at one. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Sorry, man. No, no, that's all good. Let's just do one set of 12. Give me two. Well, I've got okay. time for one more. No, I think that'll be a really good podcast topic. Just yeah, so partners. Uh, yeah, partners and. I think it would be a good topic and to also have the partners in. Yeah. And just talking about like all the times that we've fucked up mm. with prioritizing or. Yeah. Liz loves to give me shit, so. I'm sure Jay's got a lot to say about yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Like they both, they both would. It'd be interesting because like. Having them come in for that, mm. and they've never met, to so so then talk about it would be really cool. Mm. An example that off the top of my head is, so some nights I'm in here till 8.30, 9 o'clock, just on calls or whatnot. Yeah. But for me, because I was so goal-driven and I could just see the goal, I didn't realise the, the sacrifice or the effect that it, it it's had. happening exactly. next door, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right, that's good. Same for me, like, when I used to go for certifications, like I would be up studying until midnight. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, you don't realize how much. And also, them just missing you, of course. even though you're in the house. Yeah. But there's no quality time, you know? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven. Last one. Twelve. Beautiful. Mm. Right. Right, so we've got Twelve there. Twelve there. At one eighty. One eighty. Oh, head spin. You all right? Yeah. Got up a bit too quick. All right. Done. 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 So all right. Good we- week, all. We'll catch you 
next week for the next check-in. See you later, guys.